welcome to this week's Curator's Corner. I'm Adriana Dunn, the museum curator at the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center. Today, we'll be focusing on legendary rockabilly singer and songwriter Rayburn Anthony. Rayburn Anthony was born on May 23rd in 1937 in Humboldt, Tennessee. He started singing in public when he joined his older brother's Bob's band and began participating in regular jam sessions at the Jackson Pinridge Club. He made his first recordings for the legendary Sun label in Memphis in 1959. Three singles that were released with the Sun include St. Louis Blues, There's No Tomorrow, and Big Dream. Anthony recorded about 16 tracks with Sun. Under Sun, Anthony began writing for Bill Black Publishing Company with friends Tony Austin and Gene Dobbins. He and Dobbins wrote the B-side of Sandy Posey's hit, Born a Woman, with the song Caution to the Wind. Next, Rayburn moved to Nashville to be in a better position to get songs cut and went to work at Scotty Moore's, which was Elvis's original guitarist, Music City Records. He originally met Scotty in Memphis, and this new association allowed him to have plenty of studio time to work on his demos. Anthony appeared many times at the Grand Old Opry and performed with legends such as Bobby Bear. He also played keyboards in the Carl Perkins Band and on a number of occasions. He has recorded for a variety of labels including Megastop, Polydor, and Mercury. Rayburn Anthony had performed at many concerts on the porch and festivals at the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center before he passed away in 2018. We have a number of objects that highlight his musical career, which I will now show you. We have two special original concert posters from his European tours. The one you see above is from France that he toured in 2008, and the one below is from Sweden when he was touring in 2006. This unique 12-string Yamaha guitar was played by Rayburn Anthony during his performances in the early 1980s. Lastly, the shirt, suit coat, bolo tie, as seen in this week's museum trivia, and cowboy boots were worn by Rayburn during his European performances. Thank you so much for watching this week's Curator's Corner. We'll see you again next week.